One of Trump's allies said she wants to execute Democrats, and I feel like we should talk about that. You might have heard Laura Loomer's name before. She advertises herself as the most banned woman in the world, you know, because she's been removed from so many platforms. The reasons range from promoting disinformation to fomenting extremism to just kind of sucking in general, which is probably why Tim Poole brought her on his show last week. During the broadcast, Poole talked about how Trump should arrest Democrats as soon as he gets into office. Loomer had a uh, different idea. Should Democrats be in jail. No question. When Donald Trump gets elected, should he start locking them up? No question. Should there be lists of Democrats that need to go to jail? 100 percent. The reason for that is they they've committed crimes, not just jail. They should get the death penalty. You know, we actually used to have the punishment for treason in this country. <laughs> I didn't edit that clip, the broadcast cut off like that. Now, I wish we could write off Loomer as just another unhinged podcast guest, but we can't. Despite losing two separate congressional races, Loomer has created her own type of impressive political influence. She's not only close to the most extreme people in Trump land, Loomer is tight with Trump himself. In the last year, she has flown on his private plane, he's called her very special in a video, and Trump even tried to hire her to work on his campaign. A move so insane that Marjorie Taylor Greene spoke out against it, calling Loomer mentally unstable. Marjorie Taylor Greene. So that's the first issue. Laura Loomer definitely has Trump's ear. The second issue is, uh, what the hell is she telling him? By now, I'm sure you can guess a bit of what Loomer believes, but I thought it'd be fun to just list 10 things Loomer has said or done or thought, and then let me know what you think about her being the White House press secretary. Laura Loomer is a big fan of the Great Replacement Theory. A really big fan. Let me put it this way. The Great Replacement Theory is to Laura Loomer what Twilight was to 12-year-old me. In addition to racist conspiracy theories, Loomer loves to claim school shootings are staged and that the traumatized children are actually crisis actors. Loomer honestly might be the most Islamophobic person in America, which is saying something. One of her most memorable moments in this space was in 2017 when she went viral after tagging Uber and Lyft, saying that she was late to work because she couldn't find a non-Muslim Uber driver. Loomer has said she doesn't believe that Muslims should be allowed to run for office and blames them, and especially Representative Elon Omar, for 9-11. Loomer's rhetoric towards Omar is exceptionally disgusting. She's referred to the representative as a black dog whose district is literally Somalia. This actually got so bad that it led to Loomer's ban from Twitter in 2018, which she protested by handcuffing herself to the front doors of Twitter's New York headquarters. The cops didn't know who she was, but after two hours, they did help her out of the cuffs at her own request. Probably isn't surprising, but Elon Musk has reinstated Loomer's account. Now, to be fair, Loomer doesn't just criticize Democrats. For example, in January, she claimed Nikki Haley was controlling the weather to, quote, rig the Iowa caucus. She also accused Ron DeSantis' wife of exaggerating her battle with breast cancer to help DeSantis on the campaign trail. I have a lot of criticisms about Ron DeSantis. That is not one of them. Of course, she also downplayed COVID. In fact, she said she wanted to get COVID to show how overblown the virus was, but then she got COVID and was in so much pain, she asked people to pray for her. And finally, we come full circle. In 2017, Loomer did one of her first big stunts by disrupting a New York performance of Julius Caesar that reimagined Caesar as Trump. Here's what she said. Freedom. Oh, how the times have changed. We actually used to have the punishment for treason in this country. <laughs> like I said before, I wish we could write off Laura Loomer as just another far-right crank on the internet. But we can't, because this specific far-right crank on the internet has made herself a close ally, if not a close friend, to one of the most powerful men in the world. This partnership has helped Loomer normalize her views on the right, making them seem at least defensible to the average person, like say, um, your grandmother. And if you don't believe me, here is a letter to the editor from the Villages in Florida, a gigantic retirement community where Republicans outnumber Democrats two to one. To the editor, I agree that Laura Loomer shouldn't have said that the Democrats should have death sentence. However, look what this administration is doing. Slowly transitioning this country to a socialist slash communist country, this how Hitler managed. People saw him as a great leader, only to find out that he was misleading the world. We all know what happened in World War II. We must be open-minded and look at what this administration is doing to us and this country. Maybe I'm too woke, but uh, executions aren't something to be open-minded about. Or at least they weren't. But uh, things change. So I hope it's clear that at least for the next five months, we cannot forget this fact. Laura Loomer and her views are inextricable from the Trump agenda. And unless Trump publicly disavows her, any journalist, politician, or campaign official that says otherwise 
is an apologist for everything Loomer stands for. Because I'll tell you something now. 